it's pitch black in the fan but the rescue art never sleeps I've got a really cool moped for the young lady Lisa I think her name is um, I'll show you it when I get a bit more light because this is shocking so here you go guys I'll throw it out there it's, it's kind of light enough but um, it's 10 o'clock at night so this is a Sinis Harrier 125 I think it's 125 um, the man who sold this on eBay sold it as a Sen, said E N 125. Completely undersold it, to be fair. Um, but again, another situation where it was his son's and his son's left it two years ago and it's been sitting. Um, it's, it's in lovely condition overall. It's a really nice colour, it's a really nice shape, it's really sporty looking. And it's a Sinis, so it will be easily serviceable. Uh, I believe it's done quite low mileage. What does that say? 7,561. Very low. Um, and then you have got kind of bits and pieces here of tape, but I'll, I'll sort that out at some point. The brakes seem to work. Flat tyre at the back. Um, it has compression on the kickstand. Apart from that, it hasn't started in a long time. It will need a good carb clean and a fuel flush. So this will be a quick little project on Saturday, hopefully. And I'll offer this to, um, I think it's Lisa, her name, the young lady. Uh, this is ultra low emissions free, it already has a back box, this could sort her right out and then I'll take that piece of crap she's got, that Fespa and uh, I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But let's not jump too quickly, let's get this um, let's get this serviced and up and ready on Saturday, we'll have a good look at it and we'll see what we can make from it. Hi everybody. Welcome back. This is my channel. This is the Motorcycle Rescuer and I'm Charlie. Um, I picked up this bike the other day. You saw it in the pitch black. I saw it in the pitch black. I bid it on eBay blind. And um, obviously I picked a champion of a bike with nothing wrong at all with it. So um, that's it. Throw some fuel in, throw it up and move it on. Uh, it is a Sinis. Oh. Yeah, Hammerite will sort that out. <laughs> it is a Sinis Harrier, and it was sold as a ZEN 125, so it was completely undersold, because these Sinis bikes are brilliant. Uh, someone's son had been using this two or three years ago, and then stopped. So that's what we're left with. We're left with this bike that's been sitting in the garden for two or three years. It has spider webs everywhere, and anyone who half knows me knows I hate spiders. So we get out the WD-40, we douse everything so that they have a chance to run away. And then when they run away, I get going on this bike. Uh, honestly, we've picked up a bike. It has absolutely nothing to it at all. Nothing, it just, I mean, it does show up a dash light. This is a complete non-runner. Um, beep, 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 no horn, nothing at all. So what is the first part of the, the restoration process? Well, um, simply on this occasion, it is to pop the battery and to throw that on charge. That's your first thing. That's your first saving, guys. That's 30 quid saving if this battery charges. So the first thing I'm going to do is find it. I assume it's under this panel here. It might not be, though. Find that. Throw it on charge at home if you have a charger. If you don't have a charger, get a new battery ordered or order a charger. That's going to save you more money in the long run. And then... From there, it will be fuel drain. So I think all the rear plastics will probably have to come off and we will be draining all the fuel out of the system and giving it a carb clean. After that, it's your basic checks, your gearbox oil, which they do have. There are gears in, um, in mopeds, there's cogs in the back. Normal oil changes, check the air filter, normal servicing parts, that's your kind of basics. Stuff like the exhaust. They're, they're pounds guys on eBay, you can buy a new one, obviously if we can clean this up we will, but um, otherwise they're, they're pennies. So uh, that's the process today really. If I get this up and going and at least started today, 
I have my two carbs that you've already seen ready to throw on the calf, calf on the bobber to get that up and running. So today's video is going to be the Sinus Harrier 125 complete non-starter sitting for two to three years in a garden. So everyone, the most important part of a little project like this is when dealing with the spiders, don't go too nuts with your WD-40. We only want to gently encourage them out. We don't want to wind them up because otherwise they target you. You know, we don't want them to, we don't want a vendetta and for them to target you. So be gentle, just pretend you're spraying a bolt and then you get, look, you spray, you spray this bolt here and then you go a little bit wild and then when they come out and try and target you, you, you explain that it was a mistake. We can see the carb from here guys, this might be a, a nice easy carb clean because we have that massive slot in the seat. So we can pop that carb easily enough, give it a clean and move on. Um, fuel looks very, very stale but it's quite low so I'm going to pump out as much as I can and then flush it with a whole tank of new fuel and then we shouldn't have to worry about that being caked. So, so far this is, this looks like it might be a fairly simple project but let's pop that battery out, let's go and throw it on charge. Okay, so with this kind of carb clean, um, it, it can look a bit simpler than it is. Ideally, you undo the air clamp there and the intake manifold there and the throttle cable there and you kind of slide it all out and pop it up. You'll have your um, throttle here, you might, throttle, sorry, your choke. You may be able to find the clip for that if you follow it down and unclip it. But really, we only need the carb to come up to a certain distance. And, uh, and you know be able to work with it. The other thing we can do if desperately needed is we can take these two bolts off here and these two bolts down here and then this whole bucket will slide up and that will give us a bit more room. I think that might be our best bet for now. So um, I believe these are tens. So three tens, that one's broken. And slide this bucket out, have that little bit more room and uh, then we'll look at the actual carb clean because that I think that's going to be fairly quick at this stage. It's going to be a spray, get the jets cleaned out, get it back on, drain the fuel, dilute what's left in the fuel with good fuel and then technically this should be a bike that starts up if of course it was a running bike originally. So everyone, it's not always necessary, you can see the bowls out, that was very easy. But sometimes the airbox pressure can stop the carb coming out, and I think that's what's happening now. It's normally two bolts under here, guys. These were eight, sometimes it's tens, and then that loosens this up. Then you should be able to pop that back there, look, exactly like that. And then you'll have a free carb to pop the front out of the manifold. Make sure you've undone the, uh, the clamp enough. Um, I've said that, and I probably haven't myself. Make sure that's nice and loose and then get that popped out, be, be gentle with the manifold, although this one's plastic or terrible, terrible rubber. So we'll have to be careful with that. It might actually be rubberized and that might be causing an issue, so I'm gonna be quite gentle with it. Loosen it up a bit, because we don't want it to break, and then basically slide it out once you're ready. I'm gonna need two hands for that. So everyone, even with the best wheel in the world, sometimes you have gotta pop the carb off the bike. You'll get a more far clean like that anyway and you can lube up some parts like the idle screw here um, which is wow fully seized. Um, throttle is fine. Uh, my biggest secret to carb cleans grips like this lock grips. Um, easiest way to undo the screws and then you use a uh, Phillips to continue them. Uh, they just round off all the time guys they get stuck in there they round off all the time and it's a right pain. So you get the grips on, lock them, loosen it up and then put your Phillips in. And you should be able to get all four off. If that fails, which you saw the other day or you'll see on the next video, put a slot in there with a Dremel and then use a flathead, you get a bit more purchase on that. This carb's not bad at all, everyone. It's very, very clean. I doubt any fuel. I think because this is a suction system, I think, um, it just sat there and no fuel was sucked through to be able to go stale 
uh, the bowl is clean as anything. Either that or it's had a clean recently, which I doubt. It was pretty solid on there. Um, I'll still do a spray through and we'll bolt this straight back on. This is pretty much ready to go. Suck out the um, what's, rest, what's left in the tank. And then I think from an actual basic running point of view, this bike should should start. But um, obviously we don't we won't really know until that time. And then we can start looking over what else is needed on this bike. So yes, so I'm gonna give this a quick spray through, chuck it back on as quick as I can while it's all fresh in my head, and then we'll look at hooking up a battery actually and, and firing this thing up. So at this stage the carb's back in and I'm looking at this suction pipe. Now these pipes are meant to be rubber. This has gone plasticky. At this stage, honestly, you'd be nuts continuing because that's going to snap very soon. Uh, I've got spare pipe. It's much thicker. It's much better. It's breather pipe. That's all we need. Same diameter. I'm going to switch this one because this is the suction pipe for the um, fuel tap. I mean, this is shocking. That. Let me see if I can even get that off. Look, that's, I mean, look, that's cracked. It's plastic. And it should, of course, be rubber. So I'm going to switch them two over, make sure they're done. And then, at least you know, for peace of mind, that that part's good. Don't forget to nip up all of your bolts and everything down here. Make sure the carb, looking at this carb, ah, look, it wasn't in very well. So I'll pop this carb back in, I'll undo that bolt. Make sure the carb is all the way in and nipped up, guys. And then you should be good for your first start up at some point. Right, guys, I already filmed this once and then it decided to switch off. Um, I was saying that completely undersold his paint job. It's, it's unbelievable. It's absolutely unbelievable. Smooth as anything, it looks amazing. So when he says it's not the best job, he is un underselling it massively. And the bike's stunning. The, the bike uh, dynamics and size just work so well. So um, anyone who hasn't seen that channel yet, I'll put a link in the description. Go and have a good look at it because the people asking me to do more... Um, it's funny that people are, are still messaging me asking for more detailed work. And then you've got a channel doing extremely detailed work. And I'm going to try and push him across. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the language in that um, videos are is a bit colourful, but it's uh, it's very it's very entertaining. But this bike is uh, honestly you can't explain how amazing it looks up front. Uh, the camera and the pictures will never show how good it looks. Uh, do go on to Nat's channel. Do subscribe. Do send him a comment. He likes chatting to people. Let's try and share the love a bit. So guys, at the moment the battery seems okay. We have got fuel in there. We appear to have fuel flow, I think, I believe. Um, and we do have spark, I've checked that. But we don't have ignition. So uh, I think I'm going to... The automatic choke wires look a bit funky, so I'm going to wire them together properly like this and then see if that helps. So guys, where are we at the moment with this project? Um, I did the auto enrichment wires, otherwise known as automatic choke, and I haven't tried the bike. I'm going to bolt down the battery cover chuck the seat unit back on, bolt it all down, and then we'll see where we go from there. I uh, won't film it, I'm literally slipping in the seat pad, that slips in, nothing more, four bolts, and four bolts on the battery cover, that's it. Okay everyone, so we're back together now, we've got a full bike. What does this bike do? We have horn, 